Hey there, it's Vicki Marie, and today I have a Walmart haul for you. I'm gonna chit chat with you on the way. Oh, I just left Walmart, and this is a different kind of haul uh, because we are celebrating the. We, uh, my sister and I decided after quarantine, since we skipped, uh, you know, we didn't get to celebrate birthdays. But all her kids had birthdays over quarantine. Um, and then we also missed graduation. Uh, gra we didn't, weren't able to have a graduation party for my nephew who graduated high school. Um, so, yep, so we're going to do an end of the summer backyard party at my house on Saturday. And there's just 10 of us because we're still uh, only gathering in small groups. So, yeah, there's just the 10 of us. But uh, actually, I think there's the, probably might only be eight. But we're gonna have fun and I want to show you guys what I ended up getting I decided just to do like an old-fashioned backyard party because I don't know just seemed like the way to celebrate this year so I actually bought um, we're gonna make homemade ice cream I bought one of those nostalgia homemade ice cream makers I bought two because I'm gonna send one home to um, with my sister for her kids because I thought you know that would be fun for summer for them so they can have homemade ice cream all summer and um, yep, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited to uh, to do that. So okay, I'm, oh, I wish I could show you guys. Uh, I wished I could uh, show you guys this sign that this guy is showing me. He has a sign. He says, "Too ugly to be a male prostitute." Really, that's what it says. So he's he's asking for money, but it says, "Too." Uh, I don't know if you can even see him back there. Probably not. No, I doubt it. But he says, too ugly to be a male prostitute. And then he turned over the sign and he says, my my ex-wife had a good lawyer and got the boat. I mean, he's just being cute, you know. But um, anyway, I do sometimes, I have before given money. I just sort of feel in the moment, like I just kind of, I'm a big firm, I'm a, I'm a person of faith and, you know, whatever you have faith in is what you have faith in. But for me, if I feel like, I'm being, it's put on my heart to do something, I follow that. And usually it pretty, it leads to pretty amazing things. So I trust it and that's what I do. But I'm not feeling it today. I feel bad for the man. Wished he was prettier so he could go do whatever it is he wants to do. <laughs> so I'm not here to judge. So um, oh, here's another guy with a sign. I uh, wonder what clever signs he had. Okay, he's just asking for food. So... Yep, he's just asking for food. Food, please. I, I feel bad. I have some gum, but you know, I don't, I don't have food except for uh, stuff for a party. So, I do feel bad. I mean, gosh. I wish I had like a. If I had like um, darn it. Sometimes, um, you guys might laugh at me, but sometimes when they say that, and if I feel like it. I always have an MRE bar from Redcon, you know, MRE bar uh, in my purse. I'm not affiliated with Redcon. Go visit Anthony McNett's Strongman Lifestyle. And if you're across the pond, Great Wolf Fitness for those things. But that's where I go for my stuff is from Tony. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I always keep a Redcon, uh, like a, an MRE bar in my purse. And sometimes I've been known to give those away. Like if I see somebody like that who looks like they really need food you know sometimes they say they want food but they don't really want food but if I feel it you know sometimes I have been known to give away an MRE bar and that guy kind of felt like maybe he could use one but anyway you never know I so all right guys I'm just rambling we're gonna just uh, I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna show you guys food items the fun stuff I got for dinner today. tonight I just picked up one of these gluten-free Udis uh, supreme pizzas I got two of them but we'll probably just heat up one tonight and have it with a big side salad because it's been a long week and this is Thursday uh, we usually uh, eat out do take out on Thursday but uh, since we ate out yesterday because of the car deal and all of that we're not gonna eat out um, so I got some uh, hot dogs and most of this stuff the pizza's for tonight but most everything else is for our little party on Saturday for the family so I got two packs of hot dogs the bar s I got uh, two and a half pounds of ground beef I have another pound in the refrigerator already and some frozen so we have plenty of ground beef for hamburgers I got two per, a gallon of two percent milk and we're going to be using that I'll show you what we're using that for in just a minute 
Um, we, I got two nice big tomatoes to slice up for the hamburgers. I got two packs of hamburger buns and two packs of hot dog buns. I got some crunchy Cheetos just because it's a party and I love these things and I have not had these in quite a while. And I got some ruffled potato chips to go with the hot dogs and hamburgers. And I got a watermelon. And I got these uh, just condiments. We needed to get some more. It's camping season and picnic season. So, um, you know, at Walmart, they have these in the three pack where you can get the ketchup and the mustard and the relish. But I never buy it because it's the sweet relish and we like dill. So I don't know if you guys ever pick up those that three pack, but uh, we don't like sweet relish. So, so I got some dill relish, some tomato and some more uh, just just mustard those are just for hamburgers and hot dogs stuff like that and then for a treat for the kids um, I got some of these red white and blue uh, little Debbie cupcakes I just think they're super cute and then I bought some bushes baked beans to have uh, for baked beans on the side and I did get uh, these are the country style um, and they only had one left of the brown sugar hickory so I only got one otherwise I would have gotten two of those but I got one of each and I don't know I might just mix them I think that's fine to mix those things all right and here's some fun items so over here I got some of these uh, now my son my uh, my nephew's um, school colors were red and white so I grabbed some white or some red and white stuff he graduated from the same high school that I did so um I got some of these paper straws some uh, uh, just a three pack of uh, the red table cover tablecloth covers and these are the long uh, the long ones and just for fun I got some of these bubbles let me turn this around yeah it's just the celebrate just the kind of generic uh, bubble solutions in different colors but um, my nephew and niece uh, the younger ones they're uh, they're twins and they're um, let's see they're seventh grade this year so you know, nobody's too old for bubbles. We'll all have bubbles, and we're all going to blow bubbles to celebrate. Uh, my older nephew, who's 18, just turned 18 and graduated high school, so just going to have a little fun. And then I got I got some of these, and they're lip gloss. Aren't they cute? They're like uh, in different like cola flavors: root beer, grape soda, um, what is that? Peach fizz, lemon lime, and cherry cola. And uh, it says lip gloss. I thought it was like chapstick, but it's actually lip gloss. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to give these to the guys. If not, I'll give my nephew, my niece one, and I might have one for myself and give my sister one and save the rest for maybe Christmas or something. So we'll see. I'm going to try one and just see what uh, what they look like. And then just for fun, oh, let me, so I got uh, these, just the table clamps too, because I figured we can use them uh, for the table outside, because last weekend we had friends over and I had to, uh, I just taped down the tablecloth. I'm pretty creative, <laughs> but I went ahead and bought some of these because we can put these in the camper as well. And I think I might have some in the camper actually. Uh, and I got some of these pop crystals. Who remembers pop crystals? They're popping candy. There's just a few packs. Uh, who doesn't like these? I I remember loving these things. I haven't had them in ages, but I thought that would be kind of fun. And then I got three of these because I have three, two nephews and a niece coming over. I don't know. They're, they might not like this, but it looked like fun. It's fluffy sand slime. And it was right as you walked in, they had them. And they have molds, and uh, you can mold it into different things. I have a feeling my uh, younger nephew is not going to like it, but you never know. Anyway, just something kind of fun to have. And then I got just a pack of five, five gift bags in different colors. So they had uh, red and pink and blue. And there's five total and just some uh, tissue paper. And I just got blue because I already have quite a bit of tissue paper. Um, and then I got two packs of napkins. I just love these. The red and white. And I thought, you know, I could use these for 4th of July as well. So I've got two packs of those. Oh, another, uh, some more tablecloth clamps because I have two tables I'm probably going to cover. And then I got some of these just red plates, the big ones and the little ones. We can use one set for hot dogs and hamburgers and one for cake, which I'm going to go pick up the cake on Saturday. And then I got three of these confetti poppers, and they're pretty good size. My hand's right there, see? So it's pretty good size. And I'm going to give one to each of the kids. So I think they'll love that. 
Uh, these are my, my nephews and niece and, um, it says, okay, so I don't really, I've never bought these, but I think they just shoot confetti up in the air. And I thought that would be fun for our backyard, uh, end of, uh, end of school year, summer party. I also got a couple of, uh, cards. I already had my, uh, graduation card for my nephew, but I got a couple birthday cards and I bought some fishing hooks for John. He makes lures and he's getting ready to go on a, Weekend um, guys fishing trip, and he uses uh, certain sizes of, I don't know, these are the treble fishing hooks. I don't know my fishing hooks, but I got him three three boxes. <laughs> so, and then I got one of these little scrubber things for me because I needed one for the bath. And two of these, um, oh, I had tons of toothpaste, but John does not like the toothpaste that I like, so I always get him his own, and this is what he likes. And... Then I got myself some more of this uh, hair, skin, and nails gummies. I just love these things. And I almost forgot uh, fishing bait, of course. It's the Rainbow Gulp. And here's the fun stuff. What backyard party is... Uh, is complete summer backyard party without homemade ice cream and watermelon. So I bought two of these Nostalgia... Um, the, it's the four quart ice cream maker and they had it in the wood. I mean, you could get the old, uh, nostalgia wood, um, for $29, but I just got the plastic. I really don't care about all of that. I'm just, it's going to be stored most of the time. So, but they were only $19. I got myself one and I got one for my sister so she can make her kids some ice cream over the summer. And then it comes, uh, well, you, in the same brand, it's Nostalgia brand from Walmart. They have the ice cream uh, maker rock salt. And, um, and then they have the flavor packs for the ice cream. I've never used these. I haven't, I've never made ice cream like this. I make some in my Cousinart mini ice cream maker, uh, but I've never made ice cream in a big thing like this. And so they had um, vanilla. And I bought two things of vanilla because I think that's what I'm probably going to make for the backyard party. Um, but I also bought some of this, uh, it's the chocolate chip cookie dough flavored. And, and then just the chocolate. So these are each two quarts. So if you're getting enough, I think I, I bought two because it's a four quart. So I got two of these. They make two quarts of ice cream. And then these are just two quarts. So I figured we might try these on a, another day. So, and then I bought a watermelon and we're going to just slice that up and enjoy some watermelon on uh, on on Saturday. And that's my shopping haul, y'all. Fasting. Oops, I'm bumping the table. So I'm doing intermittent fasting, and I um, I broke my fast about noon with some uh, Activia yogurt. That's just what I ate. Then I went to the grocery store. So uh, I'm going to go get on the treadmill for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to have this. Um, it's the uh, sandwich thins. Uh, with the Jiffy natural peanut butter and sliced banana, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite foods. So, and um, you know, it's good. It's it's relatively healthy. It's got a lot, you know, the dense protein and some carbs. So I'm gonna eat this right now, and then I'll go get on the treadmill, and then um, I'll probably do some abs. I'm not lifting today, uh, and then um, I think for dinner we're gonna do that uh, Udis pizza and so, a side salad, and then I do have a call, an ongoing call tonight. That I, I do every Thursday at 6 p.m. So, <laughs> so that's going to be kind of the rest of my day. filming on Thursday. This is Friday afternoon and I actually just finished a live on YouTube. So I was going to put a video out today and uh, I didn't because I did. I went live. So if you guys are into the We Got This Crew 2020, go check out my last live. 
and uh, we sort of jumped on really quick and just had a, well, it wasn't, it went kind of long. I was surprised, but we had a really good time and we decided we're all going to take turns hosting these lives for the We Got This Crew uh, and just keeping each other motivated. I love it. I love that so much. That's uh, my favorite part of being here on, on uh, YouTube and the community is just the just the aspect, the the support, you know, and helping each other. So uh, we need more of that in the world today. So, but it's the next day and it's afternoon and John is on his way home from work and this is it, he's done now. He's done with work for three weeks. He's going to be home for three weeks. Yes, three weeks. <laughs> so I, I'm looking forward to it, but we have never spent three straight weeks together since we've been married almost over 32 years and we knew each other five years before that I don't think we've ever spent this much time together uh, so it's gonna be interesting but we get along really well uh, so I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I think in fact when he goes back to work it's gonna be hard because that's what usually happens when he's home for a week or two uh, the longest he's ever had like we've had together is two weeks and when he goes back to work, it's always hard. I am like, I get used to him being around and we just really, really, uh, we love each other, but we also like each other. And that's really important, I think. So, um, yeah. All right. So he's just, just pulling up. So we're just going to go and end this vlog. And then on my next vlog, I will show you pics of the barbecue that we're having tomorrow night. And we're going to do some more floor shopping. We went to Lowe's uh, last week, but I think we're going to go to Home Depot and check out what they have. We're kind of leaning towards doing the flooring ourselves now. We keep flip-flopping, but we're all into saving money. So probably do our own flooring. So, all right, guys, take good care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.